I've concluded my meditation on the exercise ball and now I am going to physically work out. That means push-ups, isometric training, uh, holding onto towels like this, and um, doing yoga and other stretching and stuff that I honestly don't have a routine for. I'm just gonna sort of do it. I'm just gonna go with the flow and that's something that you can do too. You don't have to follow P90X or whatever. Just find an open space, start stretching, start moving around, start becoming more aware of your physical body as you are training and strengthening it and pushing yourself to new limits. Because the whole point of following a spiritual path is to always seek self-betterment. That means, again, in body, spirit, and mind. Part of the purpose for this episode is to provide you, the viewer, with some workout techniques so you can try them on your own. For those of you who do yoga, you'll recognize this is a downward dog position. This is basically my rest position. From there, it's into high plank, and I lower myself down at varying speeds while never actually fully touching the ground for the entire duration of the routine. Sometimes I lower down as slow as possible. Once I'm back up into high plank, it doesn't hurt to take a moment to close my eyes and even meditate a little. Notice the bead of sweat off the tip of my nose. An exercise like this is a good way to work up a sweat. And even though it's about pushing yourself, it's also about knowing when to stop and move on to the next exercise. A lot of people think that you need weights and equipment to work out. In this case, all you need is a towel or a shirt or something like it. Hold up the towel on a 90 degree perpendicular angle to your body, and then pull in opposite directions with your hands, increasing the percentage of strength over the duration of time. For example, 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, 100%, and then hold that strength for as long as possible. Ideally, about five minutes would be your goal to reach over time. Now credit where credit's due, this move and others like it were taught to me by a fitness instructor named Shane Carlin who I briefly met while out in Vancouver. The basic idea that he emphasized is that you don't need to work out for half an hour or an hour at a time. All the body really needs is about 10 to 15 minutes of high intensity training. So isometric workouts such as this one are a great way to get in shape, fast. And to accelerate things even more, Try adding other moves to these ones. For example, try squatting your legs. Now instead of just an upper body workout, it's a full body workout. Think of it in the same way you would a yoga move. Keep your back straight, and then slowly lower your butt to the ground over time. Of course this is going to add another level of difficulty to the move, but try and work through it. Don't let this simple pituitary gland tell you to stop. Work through the pain, or better yet, meditate on it. Become aware of it. After all, what is pain, if not proof that you're actually alive? Embrace it, and move through it. I am just taking a quick couple minute break from my workout, but during this couple minute break, I am going to talk to you about something very important. I am going to explain to you a bit about space light water, natural alkaline health and athletic electrolyte formula. So space light, basically, this is a container of it and you can see it's like a white powder. So it's pretty similar to salt because it's a potassium formula. So this stuff's totally safe, but you can't really buy it unless you're uh, getting it from my buddy Joe, because he's the inventor of it. He's a rogue scientist. Me and him made a film. You can check out the film, Journey to the West, right now. Now, space light, you put it in water. You dilute it, and it, it's tasteless. And the best way to explain it is think about Gatorade, but minus all the sugar crap. So if you're an athlete and you want something that's going to help your body recover and help increase overall basic health, then this is what you want, not Gatorade, because that has all that extra sugar stuff in it that you really don't need. I've been using it for a couple of years now and have only had positive results from it. As an athlete, it helps a lot because I don't get muscle burn, I have way better endurance, um, I have like stronger muscle development and everything because when your joints aren't falling apart you actually become who you were meant to be like as an athlete right and one way to even think about this I mean you saw it for yourself like those are crystals it's, it's, uh, it's putting crystals in your body which is in this case potassium but no one's getting enough potassium in their diet these days everything's uh, high sodium low potassium so this amount right here is all I need for this size water bottle. It's uh, one teaspoon per two liters. So quite simply you just put that in and then just like shake it up and make sure that it's tasteless. When you think about it, when you really understand what it is, you'll understand why this stuff is not on the commercial market. A lot of people, because of their diets, have all this acidic buildup. 
This stuff is going to help you rebalance your pH levels. It's going to help alkaline your body. You can't really buy this stuff at your local drugstore because it's too healthy for you. It actually has the capacity to rebalance your pH levels and help get your body back into functioning the way it should. Part of the reason why I'm doing this whole video thing is to help encourage healthy lifestyles, but also to help educate and demonstrate what space light is doing for me in my life and this isn't just like some big promotion or whatever but the fact is is that in the world we're in space light is a valuable valuable asset space light helps put you into the future so the question is where do you want to be here's a couple more isometric training exercises you can do on your own this one's obviously for the abs keep your calves parallel to the ground Take your elbows and push them into the top of the knees. Exert your strength in the same way you did with the towel exercise. Work your way up. 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, 100%. Once you get to 100%, hold that position for as long as possible. Now relating back to space light, most people with acidic buildup will only be able to withstand this for about two or three minutes. In my case, I can go for about seven, eight, if not longer. Here I even work a dumbbell into my routine to further increase the challenge for myself. For now, I encourage you to just stay in the original position. And like the other exercises, use this position as a chance to meditate and reflect on your limit, and then go beyond it. Another simple exercise before concluding the episode with something really cool is this one, an elevated high plank. There's not too much to say about this except the obvious. Try not to let your butt slouch, try to keep your back straight, and try not to cheat yourself. If you really want to increase the challenge, you can work some push-ups into the exercise. But generally, the objective is to last for as long as possible in this position. If you can last for more than 5 minutes, consider yourself fairly godlike. For the record, that exercise is one of the quickest ways to work up a sweat. I said I was going to show you guys something cool next. In addition to my dog, this is what I was talking about. My family is fortunate enough to have a treadmill and a TV in our basement. Now I've always been a big fan of video games growing up, so I decided to combine all these elements to create a whole new workout for myself that's once again both challenging physically and mentally. For those interested, the game I'm playing is Extreme G Racing Association for the GameCube. Now there's a lot of reasons why I worked this into my routine. First of all, it's fun. Beyond that, I'm training myself how to multitask and it's a lesson in focus. Energy flows where your attention goes. If I concentrate on the fact that I'm running on a treadmill, it's going to be a lot easier for me to convince myself that I'm tired. But along with space light and the fact that I'm enjoying myself, I can overcome the mental obstacles and quite literally transcend space and time. So for everyone out there, do what it takes to make your workout fun, and then reap the rewards. So this is just the beginning of what will be an ongoing chronicle of me trying to become a better version of myself. And remember, it's not about me trying to show off or anything, it's about me to try, trying to encourage you to do the same, to become your golden self, to become healthier physically, mentally, and spiritually as well. Try not to get lazy, try not to let your ego get the best of you. Try to make the harder choices in life rather than just eat that candy. Make the harder choice of not eating the candy and then eventually stop eating candy and stop drinking pop. Step one is stop drinking pop and then you'll notice the big difference. Speaking of inspiration, if you take a look behind me, that guy right there is actually my dad who's a former bodybuilder and he's part of what inspires me, you know? Like I see that and then I'm like, yeah, sure. like. That's cool, he's done that, so I can do that too. I can, I can step up and become who I am, to become that golden self, and you have it in you too. So, stay strong, stay active, stay focused. Until next time, this is Skull Babylon. I'll see you in the future. On the next episode of the Mystic Ninja Chronicles, I provide more lessons on freedom as I skateboard downtown to meet up with the local parkour group. Parkour, the art of movement, the art of freedom, the art of no fear. Join me as I restart an old habit and go from there. And remember, check out these websites and for more information about Spacelight and to order some for yourself, go to spacelight.info. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and help change the world.